Okay, class, today we'll learn how to use the symbolic math toolbox in MATLAB to uh, solve differential equations. Okay, so first, let's look at is what is symbolic math toolbox, which is a toolbox and then in MATLAB which is dedicated to solve uh, equations analytically. So it can perform, for example, differentiation, integration, transform, and also can realize equations analytically. So we know that most of the time MATLAB use numerical method, but this is for symbol symbolic analytical solution. And the problems is this toolbox can give analytical solution, which is suitable for simple systems. The coin is it not all the equations have analytical solution and also in the calculation works slow. All right, so by default, the MATLAB will not install the symbolic math toolbox. So to know whether you have this toolbox or not, you can try that use the keyword symbolic and define a variable. Let's say that I define symbolic variable x. If it doesn't report any error, that means you already have this toolbox. If not, you report error, and then you can click uh, the apps tab, and then go to the get more apps. And here you can input the same like math toolbox, and then you click it, and then follow follow it, and then you can so install it because I already installed it. So there's not sure that install it. If you don't have it, you can install it here. So once you install it, and then you try it, input symbolic definition variables x, and then it will define variable here. So in the workspace, you'll see it. All right, so once you have it, we can perform some basic calculations. The first one, for the first function we will use is uh, differentiation. And the function is called DIFF. So it will take three input and the function and the variable of the function, and also which order, the first order, second order, third order. Okay, so example here, for example, if we defined variable, let's call x and y, I will define y as a function of x. So let's see that I will define y equals uh, x squared. And then I can use this function, diff, and then input y and by default it will know that is the function of x and also by default it will know that's the first order so if I only do the first order differentiation of y respect to x that's what I get it's 2 times x okay so it's equivalent to y x 2 uh, y x 1 the first order respect to x so it will do the same thing if I do the second order so what can I put is a y x which is default value x and input 2 so we know the second order derivative of this equation will be 2 so yes that's what we get and this is a differentiation we'll look at the integration and integration the function is called int short for integration so inside we'll have the function so the expression for the integration and also we need variable for the integration and then the last two a and b define the bound if by default if there's no uh, no bounding for this integration we'll do indefinite integration okay so again let's still use x y as the example y is a function of x squared so y is a function of x squared and then i will do integration again so integration y by default it will it will automatically know that the variable is x so i do integration and it will return that y integration is uh, x cubed and divide, divide by three all right so if you it if we would tell that the bound Let's see that from 0 to 2, and it will return value, because this is definite integration. 
Okay, so that's the differentiation and integration. And then we move on to solve uh, differential equation. So for, to solve the differential equation, the function we'll use is called d solve, and we'll take two arguments. The first argument is the equation. We'll define the equation, and also we'll have a condition, like initial condition for the problem. And if there's no initial condition, uh, and it can still solve the problem, it's, but it will carry some constant values. Okay, so the example, the first example we'll work on for differential equation solution, we'll work on a uh, function called dy, dt equals t with initial condition y0 equal to y. So that means when t equals 0 and y equals 1, then it's an initial condition. Okay, so we'll go to MATLAB. Here, I will clear all variables. So you'll see that we have defined x, y before I will clear them. So once I use a clear, so all the variables defined before has been cleaned. And then I will clear the screen, say LC. Okay, so now we start a new problem, and the problem is to solve the differential equation. The differential equation here is uh, so y as a function of t. So I will define a way that y is a function of t, and we use parentheses to enclose t that tell that y is a function of t. Now, once we have this, and we can define the equation, so we can use define the equation first, and equation is dy over dt. So dy over dt is the first derivative, so I will use the function we learned before, which is defined y is a function of t and the first derivative. By default, is the first derivative, so I, I will not put y here. So either put y or not y here is first derivative. And the equation is one side is uh, dy over dt, the other side is uh, t. So dy over dt equal t. So here I was equal equal to let man, let man know this is an equation and separated by two sides. So again, this is a, a equal equal in order to define this equation. Okay, so you'll see that now we have the equation. Uh, we also have the boundary, uh, boundary uh, not boundary, initial condition for the problem. The initial condition is, as a defined condition, the initial condition is the first derivative y, 0. So when t equals 0, y equal equals 1. So come back to look at slides, y 0, 0 equals 1. So equal equal 1. All right. Now we have the condition and then we can solve the problem and once solve the problem will get uh, the function of yt which I will define as y solution equals d solve call the function is called d solve and then uh, it takes two arguments equation and the condition. So once you solve it and we will get y, uh, yt. Yt here I use a uh, new variable name, symbolic variable name ys to represent it, to, and which will be a function of t. Okay, so you can plot it. Use a function called easy plot. Just input this as symbolic value, and that's the result. So we can realize the, the result. Okay, now this is an example that we solve a uh, first order differential equation. And then we will move on to the second order differential equation. And here we have equation. It's called uh, second derivative. Y is a function of t. Is a second derivative respect to t equals y. And then to solve this problem, we need two uh, initial conditions. So y0 equals 1 and the first derivative y prime 0 equals 2. Okay, so for such a problem, and we'll move back to 
to MATLAB here. I will again clear all the variables. So once I clear it, all the variable we have defined here, if you look at the workspace here, they will all clean, clean, and then I will clean the screen. And then we work on the second problem. The second problem is we have again as a y as a function of t. And with that, we'll define the equation again. For the equation, a y side is a second derivative. So second derivative y as a function of t, second derivative. And the equal equal again when define equation is equal equal y. So let me look at it again. Yes, it's equals y. And now we have this equation, and then we define the condition. Define uh, initial condition, we have two initial conditions. And to define the first, the second initial condition, we need to define another variable, let's call it dy, which equals the first derivative yt. Okay, so with dy, we can define the initial condition. And the condition will be because we have two initial conditions, we will use a uh, square bracket and separated by either by semicolon or comma. And to define the first derivative, the, the first uh, initial condition is a y0 equal equals, let me see, equal equals 1. And the second one is a D, a dy, which I have defined as the first derivative. 0 equal equals O. Oh. The first one equal equals 1, the second one equal equals 2. Now we, we have this condition. So now once we have this condition, we can solve it. I, I call it the solution is, uh, again, we, we name it as ys, e, equals d solve equation and condition, and then we get it. So y as again now after solutions uh, is a function of t. So you can plot it y s because we already created the figure and you can look at uh, the graph of, of this equation. All right, and then the last one will work on um, use symbolic toolbox to solve the systems of equations mean that we have two dependent variables x and y both is a function of t in that case we'll have two equations and we'll see that how to solve the two equations right the, the two different equations we have is dx or dt equals y and dy or dt equals minus x right again I will clear all memory and then clean the screen and here I will define two functions x is a function of t and y is a function of t again don't separate them do not separate them separate them with space do not separate them with comma seven column okay that that's not right it will report error if, you, if I do this okay it's, cannot recognize y so you need to use sims x t the y, t, we have two functions, and then we'll define the equation. Equals, again, we have two equations, so I use a uh, square bracket, separated by comma. The first one is dff x, t, by default is the first derivative, which equals y, and then dff y, t, equal equals minus x. I, for this problem, and we don't have any initial conditions for it. That means that what we solve will carry some cost in there. Okay, so with that said, and see, we call our solution as S, S equals D solve. And we input the equation, and we'll get S. So, and we know that the solution has two variables. It, what, y is x, y is y, so we assign s to it, that means in s there are two values, y is s x and y is s, s y, s dot y. So you use s dot x to, you can access x as a function of t, s dot y, which is a second variable 
dependent variable y as a function of t. And you'll notice that because we don't set any initial conditions, it will carry c1, c2, and c1, c2 as constant. There are some constant values. We need the initial condition to get c1, c2. All right, that's all we have for a symbolic toolbox study. Okay, I'll see you next time.